As a student working in its learning, one of the things that your teachers may do is provide you with an assignment to be able to submit your work. When you go to the overview page for your course and you click start for the content that you need to work through, you'll see pages with content of things that you may need to complete or do to be able to do your assignment. When you reach the assignment portion of your work, in some cases, your teacher may create an assignment that allows you to have an individual copy of the work that you're being asked to do. So if you see here on this page, it says when you click the link below to answer the assignment, it's going to create your own personal copy of this document. That document lives in its learning, and as you work through it, it automatically saves all of your work. So down here when I click Answer Assignment, you're going to see that I received my own personal copy of this graphic organizer that I need to complete. Within this space, I'm able to type and do all of the work that I'm expected to do for this particular assignment. Once I've added the content that I would like to submit as a part of my assignment or typed in the boxes or filled out the graphic organizer or typed my essay, whatever it is that you're being asked to do, the next step then is to close this down. To do that, I'm just going to go up to the tabs at the top and close this particular assignment and it's going to take me back to this page. You'll see that this page has changed. It says that my answer has not been submitted, that there is a copy of this document here, and I have the option here to either open this document again or submit it. If I click open, it's going to open this document again in a new tab and it's going to allow me to make additional changes to work on this. Um, and I'm able to go in and out of this document as often as I need, whenever I need to, until the assignment is actually due. Once I've completed my work, then I will click Submit. Once I've submitted this assignment, it's going to give me the option. Um, it'll say first that I've, I have my answer submitted. Um, in this case, not corrected just means that the teacher has not taken the time to open and grade any of the work yet. Right here, you'll see that this document still exists, and if I click open, I can still go in and access this work, um, and I can make changes or edits or make a couple um, fixes if I need to. My, my document is going to show that I have turned it in. It's gonna see, you'll see here that I've submitted this work, but I can still make changes. Once your teacher has set this so that it is no longer able for you to make changes, you will no longer see the option to be able to click open or to click on this document. There may also be times when you have to complete an assignment where there is no attached document that you need to work from. In this particular case, the assignment is to upload a picture of the book cover and then to use the audio or video formats to record your actual book review. So here I'm going to click Answer Assignment and I'm going to receive a box where I can type my answer, but I was asked to actually do a recording. So I'm gonna select more options right here and then I'm going to look for the icon with the microphone, which allows me to do a new audio recording or the video camera icon which allows me to do a new video recording. I also down here at the bottom have the option to add a file, which means this is where I'm going to include the image of my book cover. So I'm gonna to go to files. I'm gonna select my desktop here and I know that I have a copy of the book blended. And so here the image file is gonna show up as a part of this assignment when I click submit. And then the next step is going to be to do my audio recording of this assignment. So in this case, I can record the audio maybe on my phone or I can use my computer and create a pre-recorded file. Maybe I wanna record my file while I still have my graphic organizer in front of me so I have something to read from. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, maybe set up a split screen so you can see that document over on one half and your uh, assignment recorder on the other so that you can have something to read from. So I can upload a recording or I can record directly from um, this particular assignment. I can't do that now because I'm using the recorder to um, record this right now, but I could if I wanted to uh, use this record up, um, feature. 
Um, so those are the, that's for recording. And then I can also do video. So you can see me here recording. And I can also pre-record that and add um, video that's been pre-recorded uh, using my computer as well. So those are two additional options besides just typing a response to an assignment. Um, and then I would, I'm going to, I have two options. I can submit it or I can save it as a draft. So if I want to continue to work on it and I don't want my teacher to see that I'm completely finished, but I, I want to, I got it started, but I'm not completely done. I can save it as a draft. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to click submit. And then it's going to show here um, that I've added this uh, image. And then if I had added an audio file as well, it, that would show up here uh, along with my image file.